Hey everybody, how you doing today? We have a long video uh, of the quick setting on, you know, TCL 10L. And this phone actually impressed me um, for a couple of reasons. And it's actually a great competitor if you want to choose between this phone and the Nokia 5.3. And this is what I'm planning to do later on. Just compare these two phones and see who actually is the best buy for you, probably. Now, just before we start the quick setting, let's take a look at the IOs. Here is on the left side, we have a programmable uh, switch. So you can just go, for example, uh, I turned off, let me just turn it on. Let's start the phone. So this switch over here, you can program it for whatever you want. You can open one single program, you can do a one click program, or you can uh, click and hold programming, or double click. So you can choose whatever things, for example, open the camera, uh, do other things, um, probably start an application, so forth. You got it. Now the SIM card here actually has a micro SIM card, micro SIM, shared with a second uh, SIM card and another SIM card. So you have a dual SIM card uh, that is sharing the SD card. And now let's take a look at the top here. We have a headphone jack, as you can see. Good thing. We have a microphone. And by the way, this is real metal is really good for this price point you don't you don't find such quality of build by the way uh, on the right side we have a button up and down which is very uh, tactile clickable very strong well built on the back we have a speaker uh, USB type C and a microphone which is you know another for the look you know so that's what we get from the IOS really Nice, so the back, as you can see, I explained that in the unboxing, we have a, a fingerprint scanner, uh, four cameras, as you can see, depth, macro, and uh, we have ultra-wide, <coughs> and the main camera for 8 megapixels. Again, for, for 8 megapixels on this price point, uh, giving the quality of build is unmatched. So, let's start the phone here. Uh, it has a technology, so let me show you. What is it? So it has a technology in the screen which is uh, from TCL called, where is it? Yeah, NXT Vision. So this technology, as you can see here, if we read it together, uh, and this is what actually make it different from other phones. Automatically adjust contrast, sharpness, and saturation to make the screen image clearer with a rich depth of details and improved brightness for dark scenes and viewing photos or playing videos and games. Only works on in vivid screen color mode. So that's what we have. We also uh, put SDR to HDR. Now it's functionally working on HDR mode all the time. So that is actually a very nice addition to the phone. Now let's talk about uh, functionality and user experience. So with a single thumb, you can slide up and get the programs. And by the way, when you get the slide up, you'll find very nice um, dashboard here. You can see communication, media, all the applications are laying under these. Uh, we have utilities, we have system, TCL, TCL plus, so anything related to TCL, anything related to the system that govern the system, for example, smart manager, life, weather, travel, maps. So that's like, that's like deep, deep uh, thing that you can do. News, news, you know, everybody know about the news. Election, by the way, shout out to the election. Um, <clears throat> Play Store, Moon, what is this? Education, I've never seen this. So so you get the drill, guys. By the way, I just installed the Gcam from Nokia and it's. I have a good news for you. Um, so this is basically the functionality. You slide up, you slide down, you get your notification. And let's slide down, you get another full notifications. Slot right, left. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have a quite a good... Uh, number of things so we have wi-fi sound you can turn it off bluetooth audio eye comfort the no disturb cast flash nfc and we have screen recorder which is good but it's not camera recorder so just a screen recorder it's different than real me uh hotspot we have dark mode which is i already uh loved here and we have the best thing here, which is nearby share. Nearby share is very, very fast. If you have a good internet speed or Wi-Fi, you can send information between two phones straight away. Just click uh, nearby share and click nearby share another phone and send the file. It goes really, really fast. I'm talking about um, gigabytes, you know, of transfer speed 
within few uh, probably few seconds. Uh, all right. So this is about the user experience and functionality. So it's very very uh, user friendly. Let's go to the setting now, and we have network, internet. We have cellular network, Wi-Fi, data, hotspot, SIM card, which is of course sharing two SIM cards, SIM one two. Both of them are 4G, and here you can see it's just similar to that Android typical thing. And we have VPN, private DNS, let's go Bluetooth, NFC. So we have NFC in this phone, which is really good for the price, cast, and printing. Now we go to display, hole punch display. So we have hole punch display. Turn on uh, the switch for the best experience possible device. If the app is currently blocked, uh, by the front camera you can turn it off so you just basically click on what app you don't need to be disturbed by the front uh, punch hole but I don't think this is a problem it's it, the punch hole is on the corner here so it won't actually disturb your experience that's my experience uh, so you can do this here full screen apps brightness level dark mode already set up you can schedule it uh, eye comfort mode adaptive brightness and you should just do this if you wanna you know I'm doing for the review right now. Let me increase the brightness a little bit. Um, so we have sleep, font size, screen saver, ambient display. So there's an ambient display. You can just use a notification when you turn off your screen. So that's really good. Uh, NXT Vision, this is what I explained to you just now. Home screen wallpaper, sound. Sound doesn't have Dolby Atmos here. It's just a single speaker. Doesn't support Dolby Atmos. Uh, advanced features. We have system navigation, so you can choose with like you know the classic one with the bottom of the of the back here, or you just use the gesture navigation, which is I already did. We have app cloner. You can clone an app. You can have two users and different apps. And we have what is it? Where are we? Yeah, app cloner, screen recorder, and screen recorder. You can see screen from uh, from the uh, video. Video resolution you can choose 1080p 720p and we have record touch uh, interaction so that's uh, you know such a different thing let me just put it right here and see if we can just zoom it yeah I think this is this one looks better here um, yeah so that's what you get here you have the gaming mode when you go to the gaming mode, and this is new, by the way, because it is, uh, since this phone is new, it does have gaming mode. And the best thing here is that since it's a Snapdragon 665, uh, the pure Android, Android 1 from Nokia 5.3, it doesn't support any gaming uh, boost capabilities. But here in this phone, we have something called Game Turbo. Make the best performance for playing games. It will also increase the power consumption. So yeah, keep in mind, that the power consumption is going to be increasing and this is what you get from here from game turbo optimize network limit other application network usage uh, while using the game so that's a really good thing so it has a good capabilities I already installed some games I'm going to do some game testing later on so you can see uh, how's the game compared to the Nokia 5.3 does it improve the FPS in different games or not now Keep in mind, it has 265 gigabytes of storage already, this phone, which is crazy. I'm talking about the, this version is in Saudi Arabia. You go check in jerry.com, you find it there. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we go to, I'm trying to make a deal with Jerry, man. They don't answer me. I hope they can do. Um, if everybody knows someone in Jerry, please hook me up. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're done with this. Advanced feature, security apps storage as you can see here's the storage 265 we use only 19 gigabytes so that's what we have here so far TCL account you can schedule your, your account sign in and get you some updates probably you're gonna get some TV updates probably some information about promotions and stuff like that digital being you get it from an Android uh, any Android you know any Android 10 has the digital ping which is as you know uh, accessibility so there's no actually big big additions here but there is uh, let me show you also smart mind I forgot to tell you so this is gonna scan the phone and show you how is the things is going on and I, one thing I like about the smart manager here 
to just show you the auto start. Some application starts when you start the phone, restart the phone. So it tells you there is one app will be restarted. Sometimes this is really good because it, look at this. Camera PX is gonna restart. I'm gonna turn it off, it's gonna go away. So you you need to make sure that everything that you open uh, is shut down before restart. Sometimes phones does re restart the application on the background. So that's really good. Battery percentage, as you can see here, uh, you can do some battery saving mode. Memory is a six gigabyte of RAM. Now it's actually at two. I don't know what's actually taking out uh, this much of uh, space, but we have, let me just, yeah. So we have 3.2 gigabytes free power. The system is too much here. Yeah, so this is about the smart manager. Now, go to the security we have the fingerprint we have face unlock and this is security update of September so it's up to date right now and it's actually they're promising Android 11 soon so that's a good sign actually um, we have applications so you can choose what recently opened application you can if you forgot what application you have opened before you can just go back here and actually see what application that you opened later on so that's one thing um, what do I have here? Permission manager. Even though you can change the permission for any apps you installed before. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. System. Let's go to about the phone. Uh, here is just a quick look at what we have in the phone. TCLL model. This is the model number. Snapdragon 665. The camera is 488, ultra wide 22, and 16 in front. 1080p resolution, RAM is 6, battery 4000, Android 10, storage 65, security update as you can see. So yeah, this phone looks like a good capable phone. Uh, the good news is that I actually installed the Google app, uh, Google uh, camera here, PX, and it actually is work, working nicely. So I'm going to do a specific video for you, the Gcam camera px um, actually if you want to get this camera or this version because it works in any android uh, you have uh, android 10 with a snapdragon processor uh, preferably uh, some better snapdragons newer snapdragons so you get it from the nokia video i have it in my description of the nokia video you, if you go to the playlist find the nokia video with the 50x zoom it has a 50x zoom by the way yeah 50x zoom and you can do night mode while 50x zoom so that the HDR plus can make the picture looks nicer. Let's just say nicer. Not perfect, but nicer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. So if you have any questions regarding this phone, guys, let me know in the comment section below. I really, really have some good intentions with this phone. I'm still with the battery life. I'm not sure about how the battery life is functioning. But the phone looks so far so good. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this TCL? Uh, 10L when it comes to the quick setting or any functionality let me know in the comment section below and see you in another video